And tonight, WGN investigates a mother and her six kids say they have had it with a Section 8 landlord. So they turn to WGN investigates for help. It turns out she is not alone as more people living in subsidized housing complain about the same thing, but feel there's little they can do. Everyone deserves to live comfortably. In the Greater Grand Crossing neighborhood on the city's south side, the tenants of this three-story apartment are not alone. We can't put anything anywhere. They have plenty of company. Not just roaches, we have mice, we have bed bugs. Something's got to give. It's falling apart. One family, a mother with her six children, moved into the building last January with a Section 8 housing voucher. She didn't want to appear on camera, but allowed WGN investigates into her home to see the extent of the pest problem that she says was discovered just days after moving in. Coming out of the walls, coming out of the windows, the vents, it was, it was really crazy. So these problems do still occur. The infestation has forced her to bag up much of the family's belongings. That's hard to do with six kids. It's been really tough for them to, you know, wake up every morning and you can't eat a bowl of cereal because you have to throw it out because roaches are in your food. It's crazy. With the kids' toys, we have to keep them wrapped. They can't play with them. After more than two months of living with the bugs, inspectors with the Chicago Housing Authority, which disperses those Section 8 funds to landlords, issued the unit a failing grade, and the family will soon move out of the building. Records obtained by WGN Investigates show the owner of the building, a man named Mark Fenzel, also owned several other residential properties across the south side. CHA records show that inspectors have visited those properties at least 770 times since October of 2004. Of those inspections, 143 were failures, nearly 20 percent. But since 2005, he and his companies have collected more than $5 million in federally subsidized rent. Over the course of the years, he's had 770 inspections, 143 failing grades. Is that about average or is that something to be concerned about? It's, I would say it's something to be concerned about. Let's stop right there and bring in Lolita Davis with the Metropolitan Tenants Organization to explain. They've been proposing the Chicago Healthy Homes Ordinance, which creates not only a landlord registry, but would perform rolling inspections. She says during the pandemic and as we start to come out of it, reports by tenants about issues with repairs and maintenance are way up. So this is nothing new for you. During the pandemic, you've definitely seen a lot more of this. Correct. I say we've had 3,800 calls so far from January 1st up until uh, March 31st. And I would say three fourths of those calls were around repair issues, around bed bugs, roaches, mice, mold, those types of issues. Landlords weren't sending out workers or they were using uh, COVID as a reason not to continue to keep the apartments in repair. In this case, the landlord of the apartment in the Greater Grand Crossing neighborhood tells WGN Investigates that he has renovated each property that he's bought. He says he tried to address the pest issues in the building sooner, but the tenant wouldn't let in an exterminator, which led to the failing grade from the CHA. Some tenants, he said, quote, want us to fail, so they don't let us address the problem. But whatever the case may be, for now, the two sides are ready to move on. It looks like this mom and her six kids will be headed to a new unit soon approved by the CHA. We just try to make it the best way we can until we're able to change our situation by getting out of here. And a spokesman for the CHA said each home rented with a Section 8 voucher is subject to an inspection before a tenant moves in. Moving out due to repair or maintenance issues takes a little bit more work. Three failed in inspections are needed for a tenant to be able to break their lease and then move out. The Metropolitan Tenants Organization thinks the Chicago Healthy Homes Ordinance could help streamline the inspection process along, giving the CHA more resources to make sure that homes are well maintained. Well, yeah. feel for that poor mom yeah. and her six and the children. Kids, yeah. How long do they think she's going to have to remain in that in that unit? So at this point she's got moving out orders so she's hoping that things will start moving along a little bit quicker mm -hmm. and you know perhaps in the next few weeks in the next month she'll be okay. able to leave that unit and onto a new place. Hope we so get we'll that see. good news mm -hmm. soon. Thanks Lourdes.